Sashriya Ka. I want to uh, just start off by saying thank you to all of you uh, for your support, uh, not only when I ran for mayor, but uh, also well beyond that. Uh, during my time as a police chief, having served, uh, as you know, for 18 years, and uh, we went through a lot together uh, with many of the hate crimes that we saw in our community during that time, unfortunate loss of life of folks from our sick community. And we stood shoulder to shoulder to combat hate. Uh, and we um, also uh, stood shoulder to uh, shoulder to educate our community in terms of what uh, Sikhism stands for. Uh, I also um, want to say thank you uh, for the contributions that the Indian community has made, not only to America, but right here in Fresno. Uh, you know, I, I spend a lot of time dealing with homeless issues in our community. Uh, I have not yet to find a homeless Indian person in our community. And the reason is because of the value that you place uh, in family, in uh, education, in hard work, and taking care of and loving each other in your community. I do want to uh, touch briefly on what occurred uh, with the, in India with the, the farmers, uh, the unfair efforts uh, by the Indian government uh, to be able to, quite frankly, disband small farmers in India. And uh, as a result of that, um, Raj had asked me to do a, a video, uh, and that video ultimately ended up um, going uh, across uh, not only the nation, but across the world. And so um, there is one thing that I do want to touch on, and it is uh, my desire. You know, we, we talk often about one Fresno, and that one Fresno to me means uh, one unity, one community. And uh, I am uh, desirous of seeing the, the entire Indian community come together, whether that is Sikh, Muslim, or uh, Hindu. I do have a desire to see that come together, and I do believe uh, in one Fresno. Uh, I do want to touch on, if, if the time is right, on the, on the responding to the, the, the requests or, or the demands that were made. Number one, with our youth. Uh, as the mayor of this city, one of the primary uh, focuses that I have is investing in our youth. Oftentimes they say the youth of uh, today are the leaders of tomorrow. Well, well, I firmly believe the youth of today are the leaders of today. And it's important that we pour into them, invest in them. I saw firsthand with our youth this last uh, 18 to 20 months with the pandemic and how that impacted them from a physical, mental, and emotional state. And it is so important that we invest in our youth, all of our youth. Uh, I want to touch on the, the topic of developing a field hockey in Fresno. Uh, I do believe we're behind the times a little bit on a number of our recreational activities, whether it's pickleball for some of our uh, community members, which is one of the fastest growing sports in America, uh, but also um, with field hockey. And uh, let me tell you what the, the commitment I have in working with our council is to convene an exploratory committee uh, with our parks department, our public works, uh, our city council, uh, our office of community affairs uh, under with Harjinder Siani, uh, uh, Siani, and as well as um, community representation and our county board of supervisors. Uh, that committee would be designed to, number one, identify potential land. Uh, and I'm thinking uh, perhaps west of 99 as well as southeast Fresno, where we have some of our largest Indian populations. Uh, to explore other cities uh, in America that already have uh, this field hockey sport with youth uh, that is growing quickly. I, in fact, I did some research and I know uh, in Oklahoma City, where our former police chief is from, uh, there is a uh, field hockey uh, there within their various jurisdictions uh, to include Norman, Oklahoma. Uh, it would be to, to develop a design, design options for that field hockey. I know there's different types of turf, whether it's uh, artificial turf or other, uh, the potential cost involved, identifying funding sources. Uh, you know, there are a lot of one-time monies available right now, uh, state funding, federal funding, uh, local funding, and we want to make sure that we, uh, we do our due diligence to identify that. And so um, we'll, uh, JR, our gender, will be reaching out with community members 
uh, to be a part of that committee, but we'll make sure that we're doing that. We're doing something very similar in Councilmember uh, Chavez's District 5 over at Peach in California. We have 49 acres that can be developed into a park. And uh, perhaps, perhaps field hockey could be played on that facility as well, along with soccer and uh, pickleball and a number of other community sports that we can bring our youth together in one campus, one location, 49 acres uh, to be able to do that. So I think it's very, very doable in that respect. West of 99, we'll have to do some uh, continue um, exploring. Um, and in terms of the museum, I, I love the idea. I love the idea for many reasons, but let me just tell you why. Uh, number one, I believe it promotes culture in a community. It promotes awareness and education. And it's awareness and education that quite frankly, in the minds of our youth and community, that is going to be the number one fighter of hate crimes and bullying. Because once people understand each other, the heritage, the culture, uh, and why certain things happen in a particular culture, I, I believe it's at that time uh, that people start accepting one another for who they are, regardless of how they look. And so very much committed to that. I also think it promotes tourism, uh, just similar to the African American Museum we have in Fresno. I know there's also conversation about a Hmong uh, Museum in Fresno as well. So we need to look at all of our rich heritage and diversity in Fresno and see how we can make that work. So. Yes, we're committed uh, to exploring, working with you, uh, both private money and public money. So uh, with that, hopefully I covered everything. And uh, if there's anything, uh, we'll, be, we'll be in touch, definitely. Thank you all. I appreciate you very, very much.